to all the baby mums. At to Lauren who got parents evening. At to my neighbour Beryl and the rest of the coffee club girl then. Big up. 11 o'clock here. Don't chat to me about the glass. Keeping it real with the glass. I got two sad stars on my feet. Looking on fleek with the mum dem. So many stains, baby sick mostly. Dry cleaning worth it because I keep my feet toasty. Roasty. I'm hard as nails, didn't start this way Done my time, six shoes and soft day Behind squidgy bars, socks and no vanity Upon the balls, where I lost my sanity See BBC's Dr. Ranch is a painting If he weren't gay, guaranteed banting Dick and Dom have gone down the pan Thomas Tank Engine is the bad man You're watching Urban Smash TV with your host Emma Bakari And I have the lovely and beautiful Frankie and Katie with me Hello girls <laughs> Hello Hello, how are you doing? Great right after that compliment. They are, well, I have to. I do have to say that to everyone. I mean, they tell me. So you don't really mean it. Well, um, it's so great to have you girls here. Like, I, you know, what? Okay, where do I start? How did you guys meet? Let's start there. Because I know you're both actors in your own right, uh, writers in your own right. But I want to know about this kind of duo going on here. Um, I think it kind of started when I so I, I made um, a couple of short films, mm -hmm. uh, Get a Fairy Tale and another one, an animated comedy short, mm -hmm. and um, Katie came to support um, my screenings. But we also met at drama school, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so we'd previously met at drama school, um, and then I heard that she was doing these short films and stuff. And I thought, oh, I'll go and see if they're any good <laughs> or not. And uh, yeah, they were really good. So yeah, so um, yeah, we went both went to Identity Drama School. Mm -hmm. Um, so and then after that, famous identity. I think people know that name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And then after that, I was writing um, a web series called Rugged Rob, um, and I was looking for actors. A couple of the parts that were already in it, I wrote specifically for those people. But um, kind of the, the comedy duo that was in it, I was looking for um, a brilliant actor. And I saw Katie's show <laughs> real, and I was like, this girl is so funny. I have to get. I have to work with her. You were speaking to me for another part, actually, wasn't you? So did you think of, um, there, there was another female part of what you said, and then when you saw the show, she was like, you were like, no, no, she's definitely yeah. Dolly. Yeah. The other part is a bit like nicer, she's a bit more kind of a, you know, young, mm. quite good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and then the other part, Dolly, she's kind of downtrodden. Yeah. Good morning, Rugged Rock Theatre Company. Who do you like? Mm. I, quite, I quite like Daniel, actually. I think... Um, Daniel? Yeah. I think... Yeah. Um, I mean, Baz is urban, but I think Daniel's really urban. Oh, yeah. Of course he is. Yeah, he's yes. very urban. He's black, isn't he? So. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, but the best comedy, so... Yeah, yeah. I think it's so amazing that you guys, you know, you're working together and you, it's even after Rocket Rock, you're still working together. You've got a new series um, coming out, which um, it's, oh, it's not yours, but you guys are starring in it. Can you tell us about that? Um, are you talking about Coconut? Oh yeah, Wednesday starring. Yeah. <laughs> not starring, I mean, you're in it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're yeah. one of the stars. You're yeah. one of the stars. I was just going to be like, say what? <laughs> but yeah, you, you can explain We did that. say that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so yeah, it's... Um, Coconut, it, it's yeah. I don't know what they can say about it, but I sh assume like it's coming out in April. Yeah, okay. it's there's, April. Not, is it, there's no kind of sneak peeks you can give us to know um, what's going on. And... I, I I don't want to get. I don't okay, know. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, we're we're floor, but it <laughs> so, is it, it is starring mm, a really yeah. hilarious guy that a lot of people know on YouTube okay. called Hamza. Yeah, and yeah. I have to say like he he's so funny and it it was like really cool working with him and yeah. yeah so it's going to be really exciting, so yeah. Definitely. And the director, uh, uh, Mustafa, is amazing. We've yeah. worked with him a couple of times as well. Yeah. Um, and he's, yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah, so that's why we was really lucky because because he'd already worked with us. Um, he was very kind to get his full audition in. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really cool to work with him as well. And to be honest, the whole team, and I, everybody always says that, but the whole team, because it was quite uh, low budget, even though it's BBC, mm -hmm. um, if you didn't have a good team, it would have been like hell on earth because yeah. it's quite intense, it's a lot to get done in a small amount of time, but because it was such a good team, it was, it was really cool to do, yeah. yeah. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Rugged Rock, because um, you know, for those of you that don't know, Rugged Rock was, I mean, it was a series on, on YouTube for a bit, and then it went around, the, it did the festival circuit, didn't it? Is there any kind of future for Rugged Rock? 
Um, do you know what, actually, after we made the web series, I, um, I wrote a play version. Um, I was yes, which I have actually seen that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I was mentored by Ricky Beadle Blair, who, um, if uh, everyone's probably heard of Ricky Beadle Blair and John as well, and um, Angelic Tales, and they mentored me, and um, I created the play version, um, which, yeah. I really enjoy the future music. I mean, you know, I, it's I a good play. Yeah, there, there, yeah. I think there is a future for mm. it. Yeah, I would, I would like to to get started with that again, but we're kind of focusing on yeah. on this stuff at the moment. But um, yeah, at some point, definitely. Yeah. So um, with the the duo, do you see this as a you know this is something you want to do? We want to be like the new kind of David Williams and Matt Lucas, <laughs> you know, but the, the female um, French, French and Yes, of course. Yeah, we do love French and Yeah, yeah. I do. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think definitely. I mean, like, um, I think it's it's such a tough industry, mm. and um, when you are doing it with someone else, it, everything seems a lot more fun and a lot easier. I mean, it's definitely not easy, but when you have someone else and you're kind of fighting the same fight, um, it kind of feels like everything is so much more achievable uh, and we make each other laugh a lot and we spend an insane amount of time together at the moment and we're still friends so I think like just it's what we really like yeah we've gone the same yeah, way in the work mode yeah. as well and yeah um, yeah I don't know producing it together it's, it's it's yeah it makes it a lot easier kind of and we can do like the whole Good cop, bad cop thing as well. Which we do, which yeah. We do a lot. Like, yeah. Tell me about So I know you two have a company together. How does that come about? Uh, yeah, so it's uh, so the production company is Mars Pony Productions, um, and we decided we wanted to start making more uh, comedy content specifically for women. Um, so we decided to launch a channel called We Don't Hate Men, and um, well, we don't hate men. Kind do of. You, do you hate men? No. You... <laughs> <laughs> Should we just get that out there? No, definitely not. Yeah, it is like literally because we were going to film nights and we were telling people what we wanted to do and that we wanted to uh, start making like comedy content specifically for women, but hiring women as well. Yeah, like yeah, trying to give more um, opportunities. Yeah, yeah, to, to women in the crew, writing for women yeah. as well. Um, yeah, and when we would like start saying this to people, we could kind of see like men start to glaze over a little bit sometimes and be a bit like. God, another feminist. Uh, but we was, and then we follow it up with like, no, no, we don't hate men. Um, and we were saying it more and more and more. And we kind of thought, oh, actually, that's what we should call it. Uh, so yeah, and we released our first. Yeah, so we released our first um, parody, our first sketch yes. um, on International Women's Day. It's a parody of Stormzy's Big Fee Boots. Um, and we've had a really good reaction so yeah. far, haven't we? We've had a lot of views as well, a lot of views. Uh, it's in the thousands. I mean, last yeah. time I checked, it was yeah, it was way over twenty thousand. I'm sure yeah. it's even excelled, you know, way beyond that. So people are loving it. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did that? I mean, was it? How quick did you write that 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 parody? Well, actually, so we, yeah. So the day it was released, mm. the day that Stormzy released his video. Um, because we've been wanting to do a parody for a while yeah. and I, I saw that, I heard that and I was like, no, we have to do, we have to write to this because it's amazing in ways, that's the Because when originally we wanted to do Garage, didn't we? We wanted to do a yeah. Garage, we're like Garage Girls. Yeah. So we're like, oh, let's, we just wanted to be in a music video. Like, we yeah. were going to do a Garage track Secretly and then... Secretly want to be rapping. <laughs> Frankie was like, no, it's all about grime now and I'm like, so out the loop. <laughs> she had to like, school me on everything. Yeah, so yeah, we just we just wrote that and um, because our... Uh, our channel was for women. Um, we wanted to focus on um, the first group being mums. Mm. So we're actually working alongside lots of mums groups online as well, um, working with writers, and they're writing the next few sketches. But this is the sketch that we wrote. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've got some amazing. Actually, they're like uh, mum blog writers. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of approached some of the ones that really made us laugh and said that like, we'd love to have, like develop a sketch with you. Um, and then we've also got uh, some really fantastic female directors which will be showcasing in the first uh, lot of sketches that we release. So each one will be done by a different female comedy director. Um, so yeah, we're really quite excited about them. Yeah. Sounds like you're doing a lot and a lot for women as well. You know, she's such a great inspiration, especially for, you know, even just actors out there at the moment who are, you know, maybe are struggling to find um, work 
you guys are creating the work for them and they're creating a lot of work for women as well which i think is amazing do you have any advice for anyone that you know wants to get into writing get it, getting into creating their own piece because i feel like at the moment we're in a world where you know everything's streaming we've got all of these kind of platforms on netflix and you know you've got bbc3 online now what would you say to someone that you know they see what you do and they're like i want to do what they do i want to create you know projects for people i think just just get out there and, and do it like um However you want to create it, it might be that you want to work with um, another group of actors and you want to um, kind of devise stuff, or it might be that you want to sit down and, and write. There's a lot of schemes out there as mm -hmm. well, particularly for young people. Um, not so much when I was younger, but nowadays they've got a lot of kind of like 16 to 24 groups. Um, I don't know, you went to one, didn't you? The, uh... I was went to go to the Soho Theatre uh, yeah. one, which oh, was yes. brilliant. They're, yeah. they're, all the courses in Soho Theatre are really good and definitely for me. Um, I'd also say get in touch with people like Ricky Beal or Blair as well, who give opportunities to, to people, um, mentor people, and um, yeah, so it's Angelix Hale, so if you're writing, you can submit to them. There's lots of different writers groups that are out there. Um, but I think also one of the things that I learned from, from Ricky was he always said, like, it's not uh, who you know, it's who knows you. And I feel like that really resonated with me. And it's like, it's about getting stuff out there. And I know people always say that. People always say, just, you know, just get stuff out there. It doesn't matter about the quality. But I actually disagree with that as well. So I don't think the quality always has to be amazing. But I think, you know, take your time. Get stuff out there. But also make sure that it's like a really good representation of you. It doesn't, it's not about having like the best camera or doing anything like that. But make sure that you are spending time and making something worth watching. I'm not saying like all the stuff we do is worth watching or anything like that, but we also like took our time and we've like really saved to be able to afford equipment and things like that. So I think it's worth like, you know, just really investing your time in it. I mean, yeah, I, I definitely agree with you, but I think how I kind of started out back in the day when I was making my short films and stuff was that I didn't really, I didn't have a budget. I didn't, you know, it, I did purely rely on my friends being in my stuff or um, like the, the few DOPs that I work with or whatever kind of contributing their time and there's a lot to be said for that process as well because you can learn a lot from doing that but yeah I definitely agree with you in terms of quality and like I suppose if you're doing it like that as well though I do think it's important to like really make sure people are appreciated yeah. so when people are giving their time for free and stuff like that then make sure that you treat them well yeah. so don't get them along for free and not feed them yeah. or yeah. not on the edge of the stuff yeah. and give them the footage that they are relying yeah. on for their show reel yeah yeah um, but i think we're kind of at the stage now where we're and that's another thing yeah. we're, we're trying to do is we're trying to pay people for their time yeah, of course. it might not we don't have a huge budget yeah. because we're self-funded mm. um but it, you know token payments yeah. Um, yeah. just because we do really appreciate each and every single person that we work with well, thank you so much, Frankie and Katie. <laughs> uh, just before you go, could you tell our viewers where could they find your stuff if they wanted to, you know, know more about you and more about your projects that are coming out as well? Um, you can find us on YouTube. Um, we don't hate men. <laughs> it's actually called. Um, yeah. <laughs> we like them. We do like them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter, I'm, I'm yeah. Katie underscore Blossom. And I'm at It's Frankie Marie on Twitter as well. Yeah. And we have uh, um, probably a, a web, new web series called Lauren Disorder coming out as well, so watch out for that. Yeah. Lauren Disorder. Yeah. So a lot of things, a lot of uh, <laughs> things in the pipeline. Thank you so much and all of the best in the future. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. You're watching Urban Smash TV. I'll catch you very soon.